We strongly condemn all acts of violence and we do believe that the recent operations of the security forces have been disproportionate and we're wor worried about the resulting alarming number of people who've been killed. We also condemn acts of terrorism, such as the murder of policemen in Sinai. We've seen attacks on government installation, destruction of churches, very worried about the Coptic churches and mosques. We call on all sides to stop this cycle of violence, to stop the provocations, to stop the hate speech. We want and urge all political parties to engage in a real and inclusive dialogue, to restore the democratic process, a national dialogue that can be open to all. Political groups shouldn't be excluded as long as they renounce violence and they respect democratic principles. Political reconciliation and working together is surely the right solution. The European Union and me personally, we stand ready to support Egypt in this process. We've agreed as well to review the issue of our assistance to Egypt with the understanding that assistance to the most vulnerable groups and to civil society must continue. Member States have agreed to suspend export licenses to Egypt of any equipment used for internal repression and to reassess their export licenses covered by the EU common position. This, of course, is Member State competence. 